Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Day Song today. Um, so I'm going to do a series, uh, probably not every day in a row. A lot of the uh, finger picking numbers I've been playing for many, many years. How I learned to play the guitar, really. And uh, at the end of the song, I'm going to talk a little bit about my style and why it limits me. <laughs> uh, this is a song called Wine and Boy. Um, I first heard a guy at Middletown Folk Festival at a after party when I was playing with Lori, who's now Lori Riley, Lori Brownscombe, Peter Brownscombe. And um, a song stuck in my head and I would hear it now and then and eventually I, I figured it out. Uh, it's credited to Jelly Roll Morton, though people think maybe he was around longer than that, but he was the first one to record it. We'll talk about it after the song, if you want to stick around, if you don't want to hear it. <laughs> So, um, this song, interesting to me, because there are many songs of that era. This is 1939. The use of kind of sexual bragging, nicknames, bra bravado, is really 
an integral part of African American music in this country, and probably all music actually, but um, I just I hear echoes of it in the hip hop of the day. And uh, it's just really interesting to me how these traditions have continued almost unaware. You know, people just think they've reinvented music. And then you go back and you listen to something from 1939, and there it is. The bragging and the bling. So my finger style, I was taught to play with a pick with three fingers on the pick guard, like this. And then when I started finger picking, my fingers were so used to being planted, the rationale was if your fingers are planted, then you don't have to look at your fingers. You know exactly where it where everything is without looking, but it becomes a crutch, it becomes a bad habit. So what happens now is, if I don't think about it, I finger pick totally with one finger, index and thumb. See? So I'm actually strumming up. I think I played the whole song with just index, finger, and thumb trouble deciding whether to go to E minor or E7 there on the transition chord. But anyway, whenever I start using more than one finger, by the way, I'm left-handed, so my right hand is kind of dumb anyway. So that's two fingers. It's a little, little rough, but I'm not as confident. That's my little addition to the fingers of the song is that D minor chord going up. So you have this D minor, this D minor, and this D minor. I love it. I was trying to work on it. Richard Thompson's Frets and Refrains camp, which is awesome, by the way. And um, he plays hybrid style, which means he uses a pick and then totally finger picking with middle and ring finger and pinky, not so much. Maybe some people just plant the pinky down and use all these fingers. <sighs> so 50 years of bad habits. just like trying to learn a language at my age. Not, the brain's not open to it, but you can still learn. It's just, it just takes a lot of effort and a lot of time and consistent practice. See, I'm using two fingers now. The other thing I, I like is the, the walking bass, right? It's not a walking bass, it's a scale, bass line. this chromatic so much you know in, in this little song that's so cool not a lot of lyrics thank you a little bonus there for the guitar players have a great day see ya